Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 tricks that every iPad owner should know if they have their iPad on iPadOS 13. Now with the new iPadOS 13 there are a ton of new features and of course a ton of new tricks that you can perform on your iPad that are of course very very useful and will make your life easier. Now a few of these can be found on iOS 13 as well but the vast majority of them are specific to the iPad OS. So here are 20 tricks of iPad OS that every owner should know. Starting off with the keyboard, now on iPad OS 13 you can see the keyboard looks basically the same as before, but it has like a hidden feature so if you just pinch in like this, it will show you this floating keyboard which you can move anywhere on the screen. So you see that bar right there, just tap on that and you can move this floating keyboard anywhere you want on the screen of your iPad and of course you can use that to type with one hand on your iPad as easy as that. Now you want to get back to the bigger keyboard on your iPad, just pinch out like this and you're good to go. So pinch in to go to the floating keyboard, pinch out to go back to the bigger keyboard. On iPad OS 13 and iOS 13 as well, Safari was one of the apps that got the most new features. So now on Safari on iPad OS 13, here on your bookmarks or your favorites, you don't have to open the link to view it on other links as well. All you gotta do is just force touch on it, basically do that new 3D touch gesture and you will be able to preview that link even without opening and of course you will have like a few options right here so even with within a website you can still do the same so you can just tap on a link and hold it and you can go ahead and get a preview of that link within safari so you can see right there i don't have to open that i can just go ahead and preview it from the 3d touch menu with ipad os 13 you can also go ahead and open the same app in two windows so basically you can see i'm on safari i can still drag the safari and open it here on the split screen so i will have like two safaris right there and i can of course work both of them and as easy as that you can have the same app opened in two windows on ipad os 13. Another hidden like feature of iPad OS 13 is the ability to open any link on the split screen. So right here on the website you can see I can just go ahead tap on a link and I can just drag that link and go ahead put it right there and I can open that in the split screen mode. So as easy as that you can drag any link you want on any website and you can just put it right there on the split screen mode. One of the biggest new features on iPad OS 13 are the cards. Now if you don't know this, you can open cards just like you open apps. You can see this is a card right here. I can bring up the dock and I can go ahead and open another app. Just go ahead, drag it and drag the card right there. So now I have two of them right here. I can go ahead and just swipe like this, just like you do on apps on your iPhone and you can switch between cards just like that. So you want to go ahead and check out all of your cards. You can just swipe up right there and you can go right here to the basically the switcher of the cards. From here you can close any of them or you can go ahead and open any of them directly from there. On iPad OS 13, when you're working with these cards, you can basically move them anywhere you want. So you can just drag them from there and move them here so from the right side to the left so if you it's better for you to have them on the left side you can have them there as easy as that just tap that bar and you can drag them anywhere you want on the screen so if you're working something here and you don't need them for the moment you can just basically drag them like this and hide them there on the side you're working here you need them back just swipe here and you will bring back the cards that you have as easy as that you can manage your cards hide them move them anywhere you want on the screen of course you know that iPad has that awesome feature that everyone wants to have on their iPhone but Apple hasn't done it yet, hopefully they will bring it back in the future. So picture in picture you can see right here I can go out of the app and I can still have the video right there. I can play it, I can pause it, of course I can reattach it or I can close that from here. But you might not know that you can go ahead and resize this video. You can see you just swipe out swipe in like that to resize the picture in picture video also there's another trick that lets you hide this so you're on the home screen here you're working something you can put that aside like that so you will see that bar right there which you can use to bring back the video so you want to hide it you can just drag it on the corner like this so you can do anything you want here you come back you just tap right there and you can have the video back 
On iPad OS 13, now it's very, very easy to select any text you want. So you can tap on any text, just tap and hold, and you can just drag your finger like this to select any text that you want as easy as that. So you can see right there, just tap and swipe your finger to easier select any text that you want. Now you want to select just one word, you can just double tap on a word and as you can see it will select that word as easy as that. Now you want to select a whole sentence, you can do that by double triple tapping and it will select a whole sentence. So triple tap and it will select the whole sentence, just double tap and it will select only a word. You probably have seen the new update section of the App Store on iPad OS 13. So you won't have like a tab here for your updates, but you will need to go to your account to see this new page where you will find all your updates. So there's a trick to quickly dismiss this page. Of course, you can click the dumb button, but if you don't want to reach out there, you can just do like an L figure like this and you can go ahead and dismiss this. Now, if you just swipe, you can see it will just go up. But if you do this, you can see you can easily dismiss this page on the App Store. Now, this is a trick that has been around for quite a while. I've talked about it in some videos, but I'm really surprised how many iPhone and iPad users don't know about this trick. On your home screen, of course, you can swipe left or right to move between different pages. But there's a trick also that lets you do that simply by tapping here above the dock. So you tap there to go left and you tap there to go right. As easy as that, you can move between pages on the home screen. As I said, I'm really, really surprised how many users of iOS and now iPadOS don't know about this trick. On the new files app on iOS 13 and iPad OS 13, now if you have zip files, you will be able to unzip them right here on the files app. So here I have a zip file. All I gotta do is just like do that 3D touch on it and you will have an option here that says uncompress and you can go ahead and do that directly here. As you can see right there, it will put that on the folder. As you can see as easy as that, you can zip and unzip files right here on the files app. While on the files app, there's another trick that you might not notice. You can see here I have a couple of folders and a file right there. I want to rearrange them. I can just go ahead and swipe down and that will bring a menu right there. So I can choose date, I can choose size, of course name, kind and also tags to go ahead and rearrange these. I can also choose like different views. You can see there, you can switch between different views for the files on the files app. As easy as that, many people might not know the, notice this menu, but you, when you go like to a page on the files app, you won't see that, you will have to swipe down in order to show that. And you can also easily create new folders directly from there. So you will have that plus button with that little folder in order to create any new folder that you want. With the new iPad OS, you can have a new view here on the home screen, which lets you have your widgets right here on the left side. Now, when you go to your home screen, the, the first page will have the widgets as well as your icons. That won't remove any icons from the home screen. You will still have all of your icons. It just will bring them closer together and will show you your widgets right here. So you don't have to swipe to the other page to show them. But if you just swipe down and go to the edit section, you can have pinned favorites. Now, if you have like widgets that you need most, you use most, you can go ahead and easily pin them. Just tap right there. Just basically drag them up there to the pinned favorites and you will have them at the top of the widget. So whenever you go right here on the home screen and you have your widgets, you will have your favorites, your most useful ones at the top. On the home screen of iPad OS 13, you can tap and hold one of the apps to go to the edit mode, but as you can see, that will take a few seconds. You can of course do that faster with a new gesture that Apple has added to iPad OS 13 and iOS 13. You can just basically do the same on one of the apps and just drag it. So just go ahead, tap and hold one of the apps and drag it immediately and it will immediately go to the edit mode. Whenever you're on an app where you need to scroll like a web page like this or anywhere, you will have the scroll bar right there. With iPad OS 13, you can just go ahead, tap and hold it. And as you can see, it will become a bit bolder. Now it allows you to drag it up or down so you can easily and faster, of course, move on a page. So drag up and down the scroll bar to move faster on a page on any of the apps. 
with iPad OS 13, now you will have new gestures, the easier undo, redo stuff, also copy and paste. So if I swipe with three fingers like this from the left to the right, you can see it will redo. I can undo by doing the same, but on the other side. So with three fingers from the right to the left and it will undo. So if I select a piece of text right there, I wanna copy it, I can pinch in with three fingers and you can see right there, it will copy that text. Now, if I wanna paste it, I can do the same, but just pinch out like this and it will paste that text. So let me just copy that again. And you can see, you can go ahead and paste it just like that, just by swiping out with three fingers. Swipe in to copy, swipe out to paste. And of course, we have the new volume hood on iPad OS 13. And as you can see right here, if you didn't know this, you can go ahead and swipe with your finger to quickly move up or down the volume bar. So you wanna turn up or down the volume real, real quick. You can just go ahead and tap on the volume bar and you can go ahead and turn up or turn down the volume of your iPad. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are 20 tricks that every iPad owner should know if they have their iPad on iPad OS 13. iPad OS 13 is really, really awesome. A bunch of cool new features which of course make a difference between the iPad and the iPhone. Hopefully in the future with iPad OS 14, that will be even more significant and we will have more exclusive features on the iPad, which of course will make it worth buying. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 20 tricks that you should know about your iPad on iPad OS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.